In this video we'll show you how we can import uh, an iGIS file into the 3D CAM software and set the tools and create sketches and machine certain features. So I'm in the 3D CAM system so the first thing to do is to import the iGIS file. So this is the uh, iGIS file that uh, has been imported and we'll machine one of the cavities. Uh, before we start we need to look at where the datum point is. In this case the datum is in the centre of the part and the Z is at the top. If it wasn't we would go into the milling tab and use the set origin command to choose different positions for where the model needs to be. Also under the milling we have a setup dialog and this allows us to set the tool change position and the post processor that we'll use and where the post processed output will be stored. So to uh, create a machining path we need uh, a couple of things. We need to create a surface from that model and to do that we use the surface button here within the milling tab and uh, if there are multiple solids we'd need to choose them but in this case there is only one solid so uh, we don't need to choose it. The tolerance factor here um, is a tolerance for accuracy if you're not too worried about speed then make a larger value uh, if uh, you're wanting something very accurate then make a smaller value so that's set up a surface and if we look at the tools which are already defined the tools are stored in a default tool library but you can have as many tool libraries uh, as you like so looking at the different tools, we'll machine with a 6mm ball end mill. So we need to define the area that we want to machine. Uh, the areas that the machined are controlled by sketches. So a, sketching, a sketch is a boundary. So to create sketches, we can extract those from the model. Uh, so if I uh, move the mouse over the model, if I need to I can choose pick faces and then if I pick the face and then right click I can choose make a sketch from the face. So that will make a sketch of the boundary of the outside and also of the uh, internal features. If I want to separate those uh, with the mouse over the sketch item in the objects uh, window I right click and say split sketch. So what we've now got is we've now got three sketches. So that's the one that I want to work on and I want to create a pocket command for that. So the step over will be uh, whatever it is depending on the tool size. The material allowance if you're using this as a roughing operation and wanted to leave material on for a finishing then you would set it here. Uh, the starting place uh, for the uh, pocketing operation can either be the boundary or the center depending on the uh, shape. Uh, cutting mode is climb or conventional. Uh, there's two methods of pocketing following the sketch or using a zigzag mode. So uh, choose whichever one is appropriate. The tool that we're using is a 6mm ball nose end mill uh, the surface is the one that we created earlier and then the clearance plane Z0 is the top of the job so this is an absolute value above that where it's safe to rapid the feed change plane is where it will change from the tool will change from rapid to feed rate the work surface is that where the top of the job is in this case it's zero uh, the depth is how deep I want to go if you don't know the depth it doesn't matter because it will be taken from the model uh, the step down, if you need to use a step down, you can use that here. The sketch that we're going to use is sketch number three, but if you don't know the name of the sketch, you choose the pick icon and then choose the sketch that you want. Over here, we can set up the coolant and the two feed rates, the horizontal and the vertical, and the spindle speed. 
So that's all the parameters set. So we can click OK and it's now going to uh, calculate uh, that toolpath. Now depending on the complexity of the model and the accuracy used and also the speed of your computer will determine how fast or how uh, slow that uh, calculation operation is. But there you are, we can see the toolpath there. So if we go back into that operation and I'll set the step down, say 5 millimeters, and that is uh, going to recalculate uh, the toolpath. The application is multi-threading, so it can do more than one thing at a time. So if you need to look at uh, something else or do another bit of geometry whilst that's calculating, you can do. So that's calculated uh, the toolpath and then the final thing would be to uh, post process obviously we could then add on different operations to do uh, the other cavity and also for uh, finishing uh, but in this video that shows you the basics of how to create a part